Brakthia Howl, Brakthia Washai, Brakthia Howl, Brakthia Washai, Brakthia Howl, Brakthia Howl, Bashim Yarashai, Bahashim, Rakak with Dash, the blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the um, hopeful elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'm the priest Shimon, and this week's topic is going to be entitled um, 400 Years Later. And y'all still jigaboos or coons. Something of those lines, man. Uh, inspiration come for the show, man. I was watching the performance uh, Bobby Schmurter, um was doing to get his deal with Epic Records. And the description, it pretty much says, look, this guy was cooning off his song Hot Nigger. He actually spelled it nigger. He made that song Hot Nigger in 2014, blew up, uh, got hit with a case, and he's about to get released in 2020, 2020 you know. That's the date that they have for him. He's uh he's kind of you know he's respected in the streets for like not snitching on his dudes and taking an extra year so his guys could get extra less years or whatever. Um, it's not to point pick Bobby Schmurter out per se because this happens with all our people. It's pretty much the fact that Jigabooing and Coonan is still in full effect. If you watch his support performance, I'm not gonna play it. Copyright reasons and you know these flaggets are going hard. Um. Bobby is performing in front of, you would think this music would be appealed to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but the people buying Epic Records, you see them, they're all Edomites. I only see one Jake in there. He was your uh, modern-day house nigga, bald head. Completely, I'm pretty sure if he, he spoke, you know, he'll you know he'll talk like these crackers around him. Um, I'm not saying he talked like that in his home, but, you know, when you get into this type of world, you can't talk like how you would a Jake on the streets. You can't use your slang. You can't talk jazzy. You know, they... Even if you're a so-called professional, everything about you is professional, you got to speak, quote-unquote, professional, which, you know, pretty much is how the white man would like you to talk. Based out your voice, right? just being all faggy, you know. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass that thou will, shall, thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shibam, shall thy power <clears throat> to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And the list goes on, man. There's a ton of curses. A lot more curses in here than blessings. I'm going to touch on a few of them. Uh, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword among all nations. With the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall lead thee. And this is what this guy was up doing. He was out there making a, a typical stereotype proverb of himself, you know what I'm saying, of, and of our people, you know, when you watch it, the guys, you know, pretty much dancing and talking all types of gun violence, murder, and you know what's, you know what's just fucking ironic about it, and just, you know, it's just like, it just really makes you hate our people, man, they'll rap about killing niggas and rap about doing drugs and, you know, airing shit out, and, you know, I'm a real nigga, and I'm really in the streets, and when the law enforcement catch up to their ass, then it was just all a joke, and, you know, I'm really the nicest person, and, you know, I was forced into this life. Well, why, why you ain't said that in your music, nigga? In your music, you was Mr. Tough, tough guy, you know? You the whole block out killing your own people. When the consequences of your actions come up to you, now there's all types of shit. You know, I, was, nah, I wasn't about that. It was about entertainment. And also the point I want to make is you got to look who's marketing these artists. You know, you know, I mean, this is the main among brothers. I don't like this new hip-hop. This new hip-hop is all bullshit. You know, real hip hop was in the 90s and the 80s. Well, guess what? Edomites was behind them too. All right? Your so called favorite rapper from the 90s and shit. I'm not talking about who's superior lyrically. But they was all talking about crack cocaine. They was all talking the same bullshit, man, at the end of the day, man. And at the end of the day, a lot of them are Jew rappers. You look at the NWA, how they blew up. They were sponsored by a so called Jew, which in the Bible is Amalekites, man. Anything to provoke and, and stir up violence amongst our people, that's what, that's what they push out. You know, how come Edomites and the other nations don't um, rap about and glorify killing one another? You know, because one, they're not under the curses. And two, they can't dictate what music is pushed out there. I'm pretty sure of our, amongst our people, you got people that sing positive vibrations, man. You know what I'm saying? About respecting your brother, probably respecting your family. But guess what? That ain't catchy according to these white people. What we want is for you to rap about killing yourselves. And you can see... To make it to the top, our people will neglect the fact that, look, I'm rapping about killing my brother and I'm, I'm increasing uh, the rate of violence in the streets for some fucking FRNs. Meanwhile, a so-called white man just laugh at you and make money off you. So you can see that the, you know, 400 years later, the concept of slavery and 
having our people in a, a certain mental slate, uh, mental state is in full effect, man. Nothing has changed, you know, because we're still living in Bible times. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord, Yahweh Shai shall send against thee. And we're serving the so-called white man. You know, I'm just using Bobby Schmurd as an example. But if you look at entertainment as a whole, it is dominated by the Israelites. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And whether you're a baseball player that makes millions or a football player that makes millions, you're still a slave because guess what? The owners are all white. All right? And it's a society amongst these owners, man. And you're not a part of it. You never will be. All right? There's, so, there's a ceiling that you Negroes could never get to the top of, man. And they might prop a few up, a few of you up to, to give you the uh, image of false hope. They might prop up Oprah Winfrey to be a billionaire, Jay-Z and other billionaires. But you'll never sit amongst the Rothschilds, man. And that's just that's just the way the most I drained it for now. This is not our kingdom. You know, this is this place is you shall never truly get rest here. Alright? And it, and in selling your soul, and again, that term is figurative. We can't sell something that we don't own. The most I owns all our spirits. But when you give up all your moral dignity, man, and just your honor for some FRNs, that's all temporary. So the so called white man could make a play of you, make a sport of you. Make a gazing stock of our people. You know, it just shows a total lack of character. But guess what? People look at this Bobby Schmurter guy. I'm just using him as an example. All right. And say, he went on there. He performed. He got the place lit. I got to do that now. And this is how the cycle continues. All right. So there's many different Bobby Schmurters and, and, and all these different artists, man. It, it's, you're just a face. You're just a face. But this this character, this character of... Of of of, mu of an individual promoting music that promotes violence and destruction of his own neighborhood was self created, man. All right, it was created, and then the so called white man gave you guys an avenue, gave you guys, you know, because he controls the TV, what's on the radio, and everything, you know, to blow you guys up. They determine what's on the airways, and what's on the airways, what they make popular amongst our people is, again, gun violence and all types of. They encourage it, the the ways of the two thirds adultery. All right, and primarily cooning for the so-called white man. All right, because that's at the end of the day, that's what he, this guy was doing to get his deal, to seal his deal with uh, quote-unquote epic records. It says, "Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies with the Lord, Yahweh Shai shall send against thee." So he didn't go dancing in front of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He went dancing before his enemies. All right, you, look at this guy, man. This guy, you know, this Edomite with a fucking uh, straps and tie on and glasses. What the hell you know about the streets, man? He don't know shit about the street, but you know what he does know? He does know that this music is condoning a lot of violence, a lot of drug dealing, and he knows that you pump that out, this video that's being recorded, that's going to tell these other niggas to do the same thing, and this is how the cycle continues, man. So I don't give a fuck really about which generation is better, rap generation is better, and all that. They still spewing out the same fucking bullshit, man, all right? They still spewing out the same bullshit about how well they could kill people and all that type of shit, man. All right, which the most I don't condone, man. Ain't nothing cool about that. Now, if you're talking about killing your enemies, you know, you're doing songs on, on, on killing your enemies and killing the wicked and blotting out the, the unrighteous of the world, then I'll get behind that, you know? But if you're just making senseless violence music, I can't, I can't co-sign that because I know that's what the so-called white man wants to do to destroy our people, man. It says, Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh Shemar shall shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. At the end of the day, this is a white man's world, man. And I say that, um, how, the way I say that, it's not like, oh, I'm just giving up and fuck it. It's, I'm just saying it because this is, this is prophecy. This is what this whole thing is about. Prophecy. Time is set, all right? Point A, point B, point C, and D in all, in time and history has been set. And it has been appointed for this man to rule for a set period of time. And he's in his rulership. Ain't shit I could do to say to upset that until Yahweh Bashim Yahushai comes back and throw him out of his rulership. Yahweh Shai come back on him cherish and throw him out of his rulership. Until then, the most we could do is push out this word and push out this gospel to the hopeful elect in hopes of delivering ourselves. All right. When I say deliver ourselves, um, I, I'm saying, and, you know, do the work that please Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to have mercy upon us. And his hopeful elect, you know. Other than that, there's not shit we could do against a so-called white man to take him out of rulership. We can't establish nothing um, um, financially, economically, nothing, all right? This is ordained prophecy. And you can see that our people are, what, a gazing stock, a proverb. And you don't know what these people are thinking in their minds, man. You know? I know what. You know, the Spirit's telling me a lot of them. Tell them, you know, look at this fucking little nigga, man. You know? 
I want to see this shit, but I know these niggas love and I want to keep my job. You know? You will never see an Edomite do this extra shit, man. All right, to get no record deal, you know? Well, I'm not saying they don't do some filthy, wicked shit, too, because at the end of the day, when you get to Hollyweird and you're trying to get famous in this industry, again, you got to give up your soul. You got to give up everything that is morally upright, all right? And the more sick and vile and filthy you are, the further you'll get ahead in the society. And, you know, that's clear, you know? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And the so-called white man did this to us, man. All right, first and foremost, Deuteronomy 2848 goes into the cargo slave trade, all right? Not just of the Negroes, all right, but also of the Native Americans and um, Latino tribes, all right, that was also being exported upon ships, man, all right? You couldn't, ex you can't escape this, man, even until this day. If you want to establish your own business at the very top of the very, at the very top, let's cut the bullshit of who's running things, it's all so-called Jews, man. Which is a stock of Esau, Edom, our enemy, our primary enemy. And you have the other nations around us, the dogs, so-called Chinese, and, you know, then you know, let's, you know let's, the other 17 nations that are making sport of us, man. All right? And you can see our people are still in this cooning state because how the fuck else does a Jake make it out the ghetto? All right? Most of them, most Jakes, I'm going to say about 95% of them is thinking through music, through sports and entertainment and shit like that, man. All right? Because, yeah, you got the full system, aka the school system, but you leave out of that. You leave out of that with, with a lot of fucking debt. Our people are trying to get money without working. And, you know, as being naturally talented um, people, we're blessed with the spiritual power of talent. We try to lean upon that, you know, through football and basketball and baseball and acting and singing and dance, whatever, man. You know, shit that does, you know, like, you know, and a so-called white man knows this. He knows that we're extremely talented, but... How far are you willing to go in the society? You know? How far are you willing to go? Now, um, not to take away nothing from Bobby and all these other guys that blow up through YouTube, because that's how this guy blew up. He threw up a video on YouTube, the shit went viral. Alright, but your video could go viral on YouTube, but that don't mean you're going to have a deal. You know, you're going to need a, a record label behind you to push, to push radio plays. You know, you can't afford that shit on your own. You can't afford tours and all that shit on your own. All right, you you're not gonna make a lot of profit. So you know when you these people catch um, internet buzz, internet fame, they try to go to a record label, and the record label looks at them and said, "Look, okay, this guy looks like a bona fide coon," and they push them. And as you can see, the generation of you hip hop artists and just Jacobs, like, even these fucking athletes dressing all like a bunch of homosexuals, all right, is 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 being pushed by a machine. Behind them, man. All right. And that machine is the devil, the so called white man. All right. That says, look, make them coons. All right. Make them dress like homosexuals. Make them talk about everything destructive. All right. And primarily deprive them of knowledge. And this is the state you see Israel is, Israel is in now. All right. I'm not going to use all these scriptures. I'm, you know, as I'm doing this lesson, I'm seeing certain things might stick more than others. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now, if a man truly has the proper knowledge of this Bible and the Most High, he's not going to be doing this. You know, if our people have the true knowledge, they're not going to be doing this. They're not going to be chucking and jiving for the enemy, period. All right, they're going to show you, look, man, fuck this shit. Because ultimately, if Jake stop, stop fueling this machine, they will lose trillions of dollars, man. All right, because, I mean, they'll lose a lot of money because Jake is the one that's behind all. Look, who's getting all the Grammys and shit nowadays, man? All right. This, when was the last time you heard somebody get a grandma and his name was his, his name was Ficklestein or Weinsberg? Nah, man. You hear names like Jay Z, Kanye, you know, you know what I'm saying? Jake names, real Israelite names, not these so-called Jews, man. Because the, the entertainment industry is dominated by Israelites, man, and that also goes into Israelite foreigners. Because you might want to say, okay, Leonardo DiCaprio, but guess what? He's an Israelite, man. All right. When I say Israelite foreigner, I mean he might. You got Israelites that look like other nations, but still are blessed with that spiritual talent. That the Most High gave us that salt and pepper, that seasoning, that sazon that these nations can't uh, imitate, duplicate. You know what I'm saying? It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And it looks like that, man. You know, with the state, of our pe the state, the state that our people are in, man, they are far gone, man. Pretty much dead from the neck up. You know, still chucking, jiving, whatever, you, whatever the fuck you could do to get ahead in the society. The even, even, even if it throws away all, 
um, moral obligations of the Bible, guess what? Our people don't give a fuck. They'll do it, man, you know? And it's fucked up because it's not fucked up, you know? The, the word is out there, you know? I was about to say it's fucked up, but really, there's no more cloak, as the scripture says, because this, this word is out there in the highways and byways, man. So our people are just willfully choosing to disregard this word, put it behind them, because that paycheck that the so-called white man, they can see that. They can see that in their hand. You know, the paycheck the so-called white man throw them, they can see $25,000, you know, for this show. You know, here's a $100,000 check. Here's a, a million-dollar contract. They can see that with their eyes. So they'll bend over backwards to the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about things that deprive moral values of the Bible. If if you if you so called make it in the society, um, the legit way through hard work, whatever, so called you went to school, you're a big doctor and all that. Look, I ain't knocking you. You know, you grinded. You, you all right? Now you making some bread because you're gonna have secret disciples, okay? But um, I'm talking to those that have to do things the immoral way, immoral way to the immoral practices, practices that control uh, contrary to the Bible. Those are the ones that I'm shunning, man. All right. Those are the ones I'm saying, look, they they know this word is out there. Perfect example, Kendrick Lamar. He knows that this word is out there. He, he said he was an Israelite, but guess what? I bet you he's going to go back to, you know, doing that secular stuff, man. Because, well, he doesn't have the same faith. And truly, as it stands, he's not doing something that the elect would do. Look, man, the elect of the Most High, I'm talking about a man that has, a, has this knowledge you're not going to see him doing something like this, man. All right? You're not going to see him doing nothing like that, you know? I'm talking about having this knowledge and willfully going back into that madness. Um, You know what? I'm not going to use those scriptures. I'm not going to use... I had I certain scriptures, but I feel like, you know, I just felt like it, was, it, it fit something different than what I wanted to say. Pretty much, you know, in closing, I just want to say our people are still chucking and jiving and cooning uh, the two-thirds of our people. Um, You know, part of the curses and part of them just willfully wicked, you know, being two-third niggas, knowing that this knowledge is out there, but choose rather to bend over back for the so-called white man. And this is why these nations will always look down upon our people, man, you know, because they want to fulfill the stereotype. And it's not a stereotype, per se, man, because guess what? These niggas truly are destructive Two third wicked niggas, all right. But you have the minds of our people being molded and shifted to this direction to think this is what you are. This is this is this is all you amount to be, a tap dancing, um, sport playing, entertainment having nigga, and you and you can't be nothing else, you know. Hey, in clo uh, you know that was pretty much it. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakotash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which you well, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You, I came to Sadakim to do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.